Hey, Tara from the template team here to show you our new Astro Toolbox template. This template gives you an Astro project to deploy and utilize Netlify functions, forms, and redirects. We wanted to give you all the code that you may need to create the projects that you want to or need to <laughs> make. So let's jump in and look at the code and see how all of this works. This is the repo where all the code lives. Uh, we have a bunch of information, not only in how to deploy with deploy to Netlify buttons and more information, but also information on the things like the forms, the functions, the redirects, as well as some testing we have in there and some other information. So yeah, go through there, take a look. All the information that you should need is there and all the code lives there as well. Now, as far as making this project yours, one of the Netlify CLI commands that we like a lot is Netlify sites colon create dash template, which gives you a list of templates that we have. And you can scroll through there and find the Ashdo toolbox one, set it up on your Netlify account with whatever site name you like, and it will clone it and deploy it and make a new Netlify project. And you can actually click that admin URL to see the dashboard in Netlify. So you'll see we have one that has been deployed to production thanks to that CLI command. And you can get all the log information here. And then once it's deployed, the magic of video editing that happens so fast. <laughs> you can see some information on here, like the fact that we have a redirect rule in there already, um, and then all your logs will be there as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we have deployed by going to the main page and hitting that live URL. So this is what the template looks like. There's a form here we'll fill out with name, email, and feedback. Submit that, you'll see our custom submission page, very fancy. And then this uh, button here lets us click to see those jokes coming in from our JSON file of jokes. When we go back to our dashboard, we can see there's a forms dashboard that now has that feedback in there. Um, and we can do some things inside the dashboard with that. We also have the functions dashboard that will show us our joke function as well as the link to hit that endpoint. And now we can kind of go take a look at what the code looks like and how to mess with it, aka make it our own. So we'll clone it locally, go inside there, and install all the packages that we need by running um, npm install. And again, magic makes this happen fast. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and run Netlify dev. Uh, that NTL is shorthand for Netlify. Um, and then we can go to localhost 8888 to see this is the local dev version of what we have. But since we're running local, uh, since we're running Netlify dev, we can get that function information. We can also see that redirect information, how it went to API dash joke. So if we look at the code, um, we'll be using VS Code. Jump into here. Let's first look at the netlify.toml where we have that redirects, why we could see that route as API instead of .netlify forward slash functions. It's because we made this redirect inside of our Netlify toml that said anything that goes to API, send it to .netlify functions splat. So any function call will go to that API, that function call name. Um, so that's all the information you need for redirects, which there's more information in the readme of information. <laughs> um, and now if we look at the Netlify functions folder, we see that JSON folder of jokes, as well as this Netlify function, which has the uh, default format for the async, does random pick of the jokes, and sends returns that random joke for us. So that's the basic format of the Netlify functions. And then, so when we have that functions, we can go inside of the main page or index or index.astro and call that link to the API forward slash joke because we have a redirect that then gets us to that Netlify function. So now you can also see we do live uh, changes because we're running Netlify dev. So we made that change inside of our main index.astro. If we go back to that home page, we can now see, hi there, amazing person is now there. Um, but just to show you, we change it now. Yes, you. And hit save. And we can go back and see 
that it has been changed there. Now looking at the form part of this template, we have a component feedback form .astro. If we go in there, we see that there is a form and there are attributes Netlify and Netlify Honeypot that are specific to show Netlify that we're treating this as a Netlify form and that action will send them to the custom success page. This hidden spot is for the spam uh, catcher, the honeypot. And then this one, since it's a JavaScript rendered form, we need to also have an input there. And then the rest is just regular form information. This is our custom page that says success, uh, which can do be anything that you want it to be for your own personal form. Okay, with all of that, uh, you now have Netlify functions to do all of the serverless function work that you would like to do. You have forms to gather up all the information you need and redirects to navigate your users wherever you need them to go. And uh, now you should have all the pieces that you need to copy and paste or the project to work from the ground up with. And happy coding!